Nigel Farage. Fartage, if you like. Well, he's been doing the rounds recently. He's been invited onto a variety of different well, news and chat shows and what have you, such as Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Laura Cuntonsberger. Yeah, whatever her name is. Anyway, he's been invited on there. Well, Susanna Reid uh, asked him some sensitive, sensitive questions she did. Yeah. <laughs> she said, Who screwed up Brexit? Well, I would have said to him, quite frankly, Brexit is a disaster. It was always going to be a disaster because it's written in its DNA. And no, there is no making Brexit work. You could make Brexit better. You could mitigate Brexit just a tad. But first, you need to accept the European Court of Judgment. Oh. Oh, that would really infuriate uh, the redneck Brexiters, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, Farage responded, he did, by saying that Johnson had messed up the implementation of Brexit. Apparently it's not a real Brexit unless we have a no-deal Brexit, but that's not what he said originally, was it? No. Reid asked him again, why would you want Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson hmm, to help you out with Brexit when you're blaming Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson for messing up the implementation of Brexit? Bit of an oxymoron, wouldn't you say? Or was he just a moron? Probably both. Well... He responded by saying, two or three years down the line, we may have to refight this battle, he said. Yeah, did, well, Nigel Fartage. It doesn't make any sense. So one minute he's saying it's all Boris Johnson's fault, and now he's saying that Boris Johnson could help him solve it by joining a new party. Yeah, and apparently he's saying that it's, uh, well, at least ten Tory MPs that would be, cons well, would consider the... The idea. It's probably someone like Mark Francois and all those nutcases. You know, the ERG. So called think tank. Or the unthinking tank. Or something like that. Well, a Tory, yeah, a former Tory leader, Michael Howard, he, uh, he was asked, yeah, yeah, if he believed that Nigel Farage could have some kind of, uh, well, uh, a new party with these Tory MPs. And he says, so, well, no, he's always making mischief. He's kind of good at that. That's kind of how he got Brexit in the first place. He was causing mischief left, right and centre. Not just for the British people in the United Kingdom, but also in the EU. I'm sure they were glad to see the back of him. Although I'm sure they'd rather they weren't paying him a pension. Hmm. Lovely, wouldn't you say? What do you say? Do you, do you think he's a bit of an oxymoron? Or do you think he's just a moron? Please leave in the comments down below, but please boop the old like button and maybe subscribe to the channel. With a little, uh, well, yeah, boop the old like button, subscribe to the channel, I'll get, get that worms out in a minute, and uh, maybe a little bell icon, that's the one, yeah, because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling, notifications, you see, in your pocket every time I upload another video. And I would hope you'd be excited about that. Yeah. Oh dear, poor old Nige, he's desperate to, well, remain relevant. I wish people wouldn't give him air time, but I suppose I just did, I suppose. I just like to mock and ridicule the fartage. Well, there you go. Sorry. Ta-ta. <laughs>